Assalamu alaikum. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick intro video. I am, most of you know me, but for those of you that don't, I think it made sense to kind of introduce myself and say what I'm about. Um, my name is Cora Ann. I am a Brooklyn girl boy, born and raised. Um, I live in Jersey City, New Jersey, however, ever since I got married seven years ago. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in early childhood education. However, mom life kind of uprooted the whole teaching idea for now, at least, inshallah. Um, I'm a mom of two boys, um, alhamdulillah, a four and a half year old and an almost one year old. Uh, that being said, this has been a tough year for everybody. I've had my four and a half year old at home. He's in pre-K, so his workload hasn't been as great as people who have older children and which I'm thankful for but I also had you know a new baby last year too so trying to balance home life school life um baby life <laughs> and uh trying to keep things normal um but also trying to throw in Islamic studies into that has been a little bit intense um so my son, who's in pre-K, has had to do a lot of read-alouds incorporated to his lessons with his teacher. And I personally don't have a problem with that um, because although it is screen time, I still consider it to be literary work. Um, it's still um, increasing his literary skills. He's seeing the words. He's following along. He's following the, the sound to the word that they're reading. So I, I'm all for it. So I've been trying to kind of two birds, one stone and using his appreciation or his love for the read alouds and trying to find stuff for his Islamic children's book. Um, side note, I am super grateful to the fact that now we have Islamic children's books because growing up, that wasn't something that you saw. And if you did, they were like coming back from an Arab speaking country, Arabic speaking country and they were in like difficult Arabic to translate and if it was in English it was poorly written so I digress. I'm thankful that there are children's Islamic children's books now. Um, that being said I've been trying to find read alouds online of these children's uh, Islamic children's books being read and I have found a few um, however it's I can probably count on one hand the amount of youtubers that are actually doing this and it was disappointing um because if i for example look up an eric carl book i can find countless read alouds of those books but um there isn't that same level for islamic children's books so what i'm trying to do <laughs> is kind of bridge that gap i want something that my son will be able to watch and our children collectively will be able to watch and love as well. As for what I'm trying to do specifically, I am trying to make this project as legitimate as possible. What I mean by that is I have been contacting publishers and authors to get their permission to put up their work. Um, because of copyright infringement laws, you know, most of the, unfortunately, most of the stuff you see on YouTube is probably not allowed. Um, so I, I didn't want to even get the chance of starting a project like this only to have like my videos being taken down or someone, you know, basically saying that I wronged them in copying their, their product. That being said, the ocean of Islamic children's book is barely an ocean. It's a, a lake. And trying to find good quality um, Islamic children's book out of that lake turns it into a pond. <laughs> and trying to, out of those good quality um, books, trying to get the publisher slash author's permission also limits the number of books where I'm like essentially working out of a puddle right now. <laughs> but I am still going to try, inshallah. My goal is to release a book a week, inshallah. 
um, and for Ramadan to try to do something a little bit more special, maybe um, a live read aloud every day of like a chapter book. Um, don't quote me on that yet, but inshallah, that's the goal. Um, I need a lot of your thoughts, please. Um, I'm genuinely, genuinely trying to do something that my kid will enjoy and as a result of that, that your kids will enjoy as well um, and maybe make your mom life a little bit less difficult. Uh, so just send me lots of diets, please, inshallah. And also, I never thought I'd say this, please subscribe to <laughs> my YouTube channel um, so I can start putting out content. I will be letting you know when the launch date will be, but it will be a little bit before Ramadan, inshallah, um, depending on how long it's going to take me to continue to create these videos, inshallah. Um, I guess that's it. If there is anything you want to know more about me specifically or about what I'm trying to do, or if you have suggestions for books, um, then be sure to let me know in the comments or message me. And I can't wait to get started. I will also be telling you what book I'm doing. So that way, if you want to buy it before um, uh, I do the read alouds, just so, you know, the children can follow along at home, then that's great. I will be posting, inshallah, the links to the authors and publishers that have given me the okay. So you can shop from them or shop their books too, inshallah. Um, and yes, that is all. I hope to be seeing you guys soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.